Troy School District has always strived for excellence. We pride ourselves on providing a rigorous, challenging learning environment that prepares students for the careers of the future. It's what we've built our reputation on. We don't rest on our laurels or become complacent with our past success. We partner with universities in our business community who tell us that students need critical thinking skills and a deeper thought process. Four years ago when we started this review cycle, we asked ourselves, what does world-class programming look like in mathematics? And what we quickly learned is that the field of teaching and learning in mathematics has changed drastically since our last review cycle, which was about 10 years ago. It's no longer just about what students know. Students need to be able to do something with what they know. So when they are faced with a real world problem, are they able to solve problems creatively with a group and work collaboratively? Are they also able to persevere through tricky problems uh, as an individual? The new curriculum, I feel, really like opens the door for all students. It creates an environment where no matter a student's mathematical background or comfort level or skill level, they can enter the math tasks and feel successful. But then it also gives a lot of tools and strategies to teachers to then extend that math as high as it needs to go. Well, are these the same? Are these equivalent? No. One hour and 60 they, minutes? Yeah, they are. Yes. Those yeah, are equivalent, exactly so I need to keep those the same. Same. Okay, just so then what, did they, what do you think is going on here? It's not a new math, it's just a different style of teaching that's taking place. I'm seeing students of all different levels and abilities collaborating and working together, but they're engaging in math in such a unique way that's so much deeper and providing them with such a stable foundation. It's pushing them to think about concepts in a new manner and allowing them each individually to take their learning as far as they can keep pushing themselves. Our current structure really prioritizes speed and doesn't always allow us to get to the depth that teachers would like to with students. We were able to review our data from before the pandemic to look at how students performed on the MSTEP in math. And we saw that the levels of advanced performance and the levels of proficient performance continued to drop from grades three to grade seven. We identified that by creating tracks at the end of fifth grade when students are just 10, prevents some students from accessing high levels of mathematics instruction. Even when they're motivated and achieving well, our current structures don't allow for there to be choice and movement. Whether it's a student that you know, traditionally has struggled in math and, and needs extra supports, to a student that has already made it clear they're looking to advance and push and go further, 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 this new curriculum really gives teachers and, and myself supporting teachers the tools to meet those needs of all those kids and make sure they're all successful in the goals they're trying to achieve. The student that's getting it has to put that into words. It's no longer just an answer and I'm done and I can sit down or, or do what, what I want to do. They have to put that into words and provide evidence and reasoning for that and I think that's so powerful because often some of our highest level thinkers are good at getting the right answer but not necessarily at explaining or defending their thinking. I can take that advanced student and push them even further. I could take that struggling student and work with them and make sure they get that solid um, understanding of that concept. And I couldn't do that before. It was, it was not feasible. We are going to be doing lots of job embedded professional learning where we're in classrooms, trying things out with students, being really reflective on our practice, thinking deeply about what moves we can make to meet the needs of all of our students in our classroom. Eight o'clock no, would be eight eight zero. Eight 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 zero. Eight eight because they didn't, yeah, because they started, they started, started at eight. eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Under the new course structure, any student will be ready to take Algebra 1 in 8th grade or the 8th grade math course that will further build their math foundation. Students will have access to the same rigorous choices in high school and be better prepared for advanced coursework as they move along their pathway. 
I know that we have passionate families, that mathematics is a passion for them, and they're looking for uh, ways to advance. All those same opportunities will still be there. So if we have students that show mastery and have that passion, they're going to have the same ability to go to a higher grade level that they currently have. For students who complete Algebra 1 in 8th grade, they will have access to AP Calculus by their senior year. Other students will be ready for complex thinking in Calculus 3, depending on their pathway, as they do now. Those highly motivated students will be better prepared for college and the skills that the jobs of the future require. Further, all of our students will have a more comprehensive foundation for whatever higher math courses they take, ensuring that more students will be ready for honors and AP level classes. It's just all around an all encompassing program and I'm really excited that Troy is looking at this new curriculum. Our families have relied on us for generations to provide their students with a world-class education. You can count on us to continue that, to study and learn from the best, and to use that knowledge to prepare our students for unsurpassed opportunities for their future.